Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today we're going to be talking about chest protection because as you can see from my skit, I take chest protection very seriously for good reason. This is because even if you have the strongest defenses, there is still a slight chance that someone can get into your vault. So I think it is vital to make it as difficult as physically possible for them to get into your chest. However, some people are put off by this as making these kind of vaults can take up a lot of space and can be inconvenient. So today I'm going to show you my top 3 chest vaults that I currently think are the best and most functional as they are the smallest and most convenient in the category. To start off with, we have the simplest and most well known chest vault design. If you've played with a semi experienced faction before, you would have no doubt seen this design and even the majority of people in my faction use it. This is for good reason, as even though a lot of the space is taken up by water, you can still place a large amount of chests in a relatively small space. Also, you can place the vault directly against the wall, and that will only take up 4 blocks of depth and 1 extra to stop the water from flowing everywhere. The benefits of this design is you can use any block type as long as one of them is transparent and the other is solid. This way you can destroy the block above the chest you want to open, and after you've got your items out you can place the block back. The reason this is so popular is that it's simple, cheap and doesn't take up much space and is generally a very good vault to start off with, especially if you haven't built one before. And like all the other vaults here, it is unrateable from creeper eggs. The reason I use the redstone block and lamp combo in particular is because on most servers a redstone block is treated as a transparent block, so the chest will open when you remove the redstone lamp. The main feature is that it lets you easily check to see all your chests are protected at a glance, plus in my opinion it looks really good. In terms of a tutorial, I will be coming out with a video on it very shortly, however it is still very simple to make, so all you need is your double chest and of course a transparent and solid block on top of it, and then the only really thing you have to worry about is making sure that you have water on each side of it like so, and then two blocks of water above it and below it to make sure that no creeper eggs can get inside it. So that's pretty much it, now on to the next one. Next is the regen vault, specifically the infinitely expandable one that can expand both horizontally and vertically. This vault protects your chest from creeper eggs by being a water wall and allows you to access the chest by destroying the cobblestone that will regenerate itself from the lava on the chest and the water on the outside. In my opinion, this is currently the best regen vault and is a huge step up over the main basic one for a few reasons. To start off with, it can fit over twice the amount of chests in the same space as they are stored in a capsule with the chest side by side, and it is slightly more convenient as you don't have to place a block back when you close it. You only have to destroy the cobblestone and it will regenerate itself. The capsule itself is only 4 blocks in depth and you can place the back of it against the wall, so it is the same size as the first vault even with the water flowing over the front. If you want more information about this vault and a tutorial, then check out this video I made a few months ago and there will also be a link in the description. Finally, the last vault, called the Slime Vault, is a more recent contender as most servers have only recently swapped over to 1.8 and above. This is important because the main resource used in this vault is slime blocks. This vault isn't necessarily better than the regen vault, but it does have some very nice qualities. So the way this vault works is that the front is a water wall until you flick the lever which pushes the wall two blocks forward. This then allows you to have easy access to all of your chests. I currently have two versions of this vault that should address most building situations. This vault allows you to stack chests on top of each other without having a gap between them, unlike the regen vault. However, you still have a few blocks in between the chests horizontally and you need at least two blocks above your chest for the redstone. In the space efficiency department, it is on par or slightly better than the regen vault. Nonetheless, this vault is more expensive and is slightly more complex to build due to the redstone needed to make it. Although this will no doubt raise eyebrows in your faction as it is both functional and extremely unique. Also, if you want the most protection, then unless you build this against your roof, you will have to place water above the redstone and on the left side, so it is unraidable from creeper eggs. If you want to learn more, I have done a whole video explaining this vault in extreme detail including the dimensions, the redstone and a well made tutorial. There will be a link in the description below. So these are my top 3 vaults, so please tell me if I'm on par or not, and you may notice I have now got a new skin. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did please leave a like, it takes a lot more time to make these than you think it would. But anyway, goodbye from TNT Madness.